Hi my loves, welcome to Ask a Little Witch. My name is Kerry and this is your July of 2019 monthly horoscope. If you're new, please do subscribe, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and check out the blog post just below this video that goes into all of what you need to know about these upcoming eclipses for your sign. So without further ado, let's get into what this month has in store for you. Hi C, so something will be reawakening and reigniting for you this month and Mercury for most of July will be retrograding in your health and work sector. Now I've separated this reading into three parts. The first part we're going to cover a little of the astrology and then we're going to jump into the tarot messages and then finish with a love and health and oracle card. Okay, so like I said, Mercury for most of July is going to be retrograding in your health and work sector, which basically means that it's a time where you can go back to an old place of employment. Um, anything that you've been delaying to do with regards to your work and your health, this is a time for you to do that. Um, many people experience, you know, catching up with old work colleagues that they haven't, you know, connected with in a really long time. Some people tend to find themselves falling back into old habits and old patterns. But basically, Mercury retrograde is bringing you, you know, it's bringing your health up for assessment and bringing old work related issues back up so that you can really clear them. Now, there will be a Mercury retrograde video going up fairly soon, but I have incorporated, if you go into the information box there will be a link to a blog post which goes into a lot more detail about what mercury transiting through retrograde motion and um, through your sixth house so make sure that you you check that out if you want like a little bit more insight into mercury going retrograde for you specifically but the middle of the month on the 16th we have the full moon lunar eclipse happening in the house of gains friendships and wishes which is fantastic but there will be a separate post on that as well but that one will be coming next week um, so make sure that you're subscribed to get notified of when that comes up but the very end or towards the later part of July Mercury is going to shift into your your fifth house okay and the fifth house is the house of passion creativity and love so you know you could find yourself over the course of this next you know well this month really feeling very nostalgic over maybe past loves or for some of you perhaps even getting back into an old passion um i'm a pisces myself and i would say the old passion part is already kicking in um for me uh, personally but let me know what's happening with you guys in the comments down below so now let's have a look at the tarot cards so judgment um which is brilliant well it's not necessarily brilliant it's a very intense card it's the card of news and it's the news that wakes you up and changes things now pisces some of you in july could be on the receiving end of a financial opportunity which is fantastic um but you might also be leaving one job and embarking upon something completely different you know investing your time in something else there is this investment vibe that i'm getting with this um but it's, it kind of feels like doing that something taking a chance on something okay that you've always wanted to give a try but you were like eh, i don't really know you know but this is your opportunity now to step up you know you're being given the call the calling is there and i feel like some of you as well some of you might just receive or win this could be winning competition um you could be winning a sort of sudden income or even an inheritance for some of you you know the judgment card it can sometimes 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 um and obviously we also have the six of cups here as well so i mean if you've um if you've been waiting for news of any kind you know previously or if you find yourself waiting for news know that by the end of the month you're going to get that news whatever it is that you've been waiting for by the end of the month maybe leading in to the following month but you're going to get that news okay you are going to receive it and i see that some of you might be returning to an old environment it doesn't have to be an old work environment it can just be an old environment you know because we have the the six of cups which is very nostalgic and you know some of you might be called back to a place you know um or you know 
if you have been waiting for a job callback then that could also you know be apparent because we do have the ace of pentacles now the judgment card has a certain shock and awe about it because it's it's gabriel right it's delivering you some sort of destined you're meant to have this message and talking of destiny the nodes the nodes have been transiting through your fifth house okay they're activating that they're unlocking that and over the course of this month you know venus is joining up with the north node this is fated things okay fated connections um your connection houses are activated naturally but also your third house and your eighth house are being activated as well, which is sudden things, you know, gaining things unexpectedly. These could be new friendships coming in, friendships that really align with maybe an old hobby or a new hobby that you've taken up. I would say it's going back into something and then meeting new people, people who align with the same sort of things that you care about. That could also be apparent over the course of July um and for some of you you know some of you this could be like the first time parents learning the art of raising children it could also be that um some of you like i said could be entering into a competition or gaining some sort of creative dream job opportunity this month um it doesn't mean that you have to drop everything and you know make all of these things happen necessarily okay you don't have to do that um, I just feel like there's a lot of opportunity this month for, for you Pisces, but definitely nostalgic. So now let's have a look at the Oracle cards. Let's see. So we have, um, okay. So yeah, we have manifestation and friendships. So that's pretty cool, right? Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, the third house is activated, the lunar eclipse is happening in a networking sort of a place with, you know, I mean, the 11th house is also a manifestation house. So I kind of feel like with the friendship and manifestation, I feel like because these are health cards as well, it's very important, I would say, that the people that you surround yourself with do align with the things that matter most to you because it does feel like a very heart-centered month. Um... It really does. So I do feel like there's new friendships coming in. I do feel like as well there could be old friendships being severed and cut off. You know, you moving away from old maybe work, maybe even work colleagues, right? Because Mercury is retrograding through the sixth house and back into the fifth house. So maybe some of you will be, you know, not spending as much time with the people that you've worked with previously. Some of you might be making that transition into a new or old work environment where you're leaving one group of people and joining up with a new group of people some of you might be going back to an old hobby that you really enjoy and so therefore you know you're you're interacting with new people there's new people around you and everything in this life comes through the actions and the considerations of other people so that's where manifestation comes in you're manifesting through your friendships through your networks through the people that you know right every opportunity comes through another person and so i feel like you're manifesting something big right lunar eclipses aren't just about endings and chaos and all of that lunar eclipses are also about you know achievement you know gaining something but yes there is this kind of notion of a beginning and an ending you know it's that sort of a notion now when it comes to love we have heart to heart conversations and we have give your relationship a chance so because Mercury is obviously going to be entering into your fifth house on the 20th, I would actually say that, yes, this can bring back um, old relationships. It doesn't have to necessarily, but it can. Um, it could also, for those of you who are already in a committed relationship, it could just be bringing back up certain topics of conversation that maybe got shut down before you know it's a real opening up a real kind of heart to heart you know where is the future of this relationship going do you still want and desire the same things this is about reconnecting and rekindling something you know but with the heart to heart conversation it is definitely a month for you to get very open to get very clear on you know what it is that you want what it is that they want make sure that you're on the same page you know and i mean if you're single this could be about you reassessing reassessing what you want from a relationship you know getting clear and getting specific on that 
and maybe it's also about because like the north node and venus are connecting this month this is definitely a karmic uh, i want to say karmic but it can be like it can bring you soulful relationships the reason why i said karmic is because the north node is all about growth okay and growth usually requires a certain level of change you know it really pushes you into new uh pushes you out of the box basically into new territory you know it really expands you and so although it can be totally exciting it can also be a lot you know it's intense it's magnetic it's consuming um and i feel like there's a lot of lessons to be learned in july when it comes to your relationships your important relationships and i mean relationships don't just have to be the ones that you know your boyfriend or your girlfriend like it doesn't have to be those sorts of relationships it can also be relationships with with your children it can be relationships with your friends you know your best friend you know it could be relationships with anyone it's someone who, who you have a connection with like i said we've got the friendship card that's come up as well now the angel card we have is artemis and artemis is all about kind of looking forward it's about getting yourself focused and aligned with where it is that you're heading it's not really a card for you to dwell on the past too much although that is definitely going to be a main thing that's coming through this month you know the number four is is about stability right it's it's the foundation of which everything is going to be built upon now artemis actually says the card says focus and so this is about focusing on what you do want and trying not to get caught up with all of the things that are wrong and everything that happened then and this and that you know it's about taking something old and building upon that you know and i mean if you're trying to rekindle a relationship there's going to be a certain level of forgiveness and letting go of the past because it's not here you've grown they've grown you know this is a fresh slate this is about building something having the same sort of vision or future for yourselves but artemis is definitely a card you know she doesn't hurt anyone with her um her bow and arrow um, not intentionally at, at least, um, but it, it's just about kind of getting yourself aligned with what it is that, you know, your heart's actually calling to, what it is that you actually, you actually want and you actually desire. So thank you so much for clicking on this post, this video. It would mean the absolute world to me if you would hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe. It helps us just kind of keep these videos going. And I always love hearing how things play out for you. Um, I didn't upload obviously last month, but I've got a lot of people commenting on, you know, the, the previous month's video saying that actually everything that I said was coming true for them. So it means well to me when I hear back and see how things actually played out. So please do keep me updated in the comments down below and I will see you in another video another time. Thank you so much. Bye.